Uh, my name is Kevin Ferguson. I served in the United States Marine Corps. I was a combat correspondent. So I, before I joined the military, I went to school for broadcasting, and I was able to fuse two passions by using some of my education with my time in service. Uh, so my disability rating comes from, um, I was diagnosed with skin cancer while I served. It was recurrent for three years, um, and, and eventually I was medically retired. Um, I have been, I have to do, you know, monthly, like six, every six months I get checked up through a dermatologist. So the Michigan Warriors has been uh, integral with my transition from service member to civilian. Uh, I, I don't make a habit of getting out too much because transitioning out of the service is, in my experience, it's been kind of difficult. It's tough to fit in with, with society and groups of people when, when you have a certain way about you. and. So to be a part of a program with like-minded people, you know, and to get in the locker room with uh, with service members has been has been phenomenal for me. It's, it's I really can't explain it. If I wasn't with the Warriors, I would. I mean, honestly, I'd probably just be hanging out in my house with my cats. Like I, I really the idea of like building a network of veterans with the Michigan Warriors is has been phenomenal for me. The idea that going out and interacting with, with groups of people has been tough. Um, so transitioning has been, you know, benefited in a, in a major way. The locker room morale is, I mean, it, it's like being with any well-oiled machine and in unit, you know what I mean? Like we all, like it doesn't matter if you're from the Coast Guard, the Air Force, the Marine Corps, we all get in, we start smoking and joking, you know, we start talking in jargon. It's a, uh, it boosts your morale and it gives you something to look forward to each week, it really does. I, I mean, I, if I'm being completely honest, I didn't go to work for the past two days because I was having anxiety attacks and things. And the moment I walk in the locker room and I see those guys, like if there's a like a center of calm that comes about me. And that's what I was trying to say earlier with the like-minded people is like, you get in there and like they just start packing jokes and if they can tell you're off, they'll call you out on it. Whereas, like, I have civilian friends that will just be like, all right, leave him alone, he's not doing good today. Whereas a, a veteran will be like, you know, what's going on, man? What do you need? You know, and if I'm like, I'm good, then then that's all, you know? So, like, it's, it's just the ability to be around people who understand you no matter what you think.